Now the chapter actually begins with the jump characters are getting ready to celebrate the New Year's, and the chapter art is the Straw Hats are ninjas, which we actually seen all the Straw Hats while the males are wearing the Shinobi outfits, while Nami and Robin are actually wearing the same outfits that Nami is wearing during the Wano arc. And now we'll start the chapter now, which Frankie's boss is actually yelling at him for dishing work, which the which he's the legendary carpenter leader, Mina Tomu, who's actually the one who actually built Kaido's mansion. In which he actually saw the beautiful woman in Wano Country, which he actually asking his boss about Kaido's blueprints for his mansion. In which he actually said that 10 years ago he actually pondered because he actually did that. In which Frankie was actually is angry because he actually remember asking for those blueprints for the raid that he actually going to do which allows another carpenter to hit Frankie in which the, the fighting actually started just like when Zoro did causing Frankie to be fired from his job in which we actually see him meeting with Kanjiro, who actually passing around fish that he actually drawn, in which he actually told him about what went down. So we actually knew that he's going to go around asking for those blueprints, which first he actually started at the pawn shop, which he actually, which the pawn shop owner actually say that he actually gave him away from someone by the name of Tamaguru who actually told him that he passed it around because of the rent to a man named Kubi then he actually told him that he passed around to Keep, to his favorite geisha, keep I me mean, sorry, Kisi Gauri Migawa, and then she actually say that she actually passed those around like a coaster, and then pass around to Tuki I mean, Tuki Jiru. Then he actually told him that he actually passed around. To Kimmel, then he actually go around actually asking around about different people. Then he actually gave up. Then he actually called Kimon about the plans. And then he, we actually see him with Duke Dogstorm and then the rest of the Meeks, including Wanda, actually came here to help with the raid. Which we actually knew that, <coughs> sorry, that Kaido's laggies probably be starting noticing. And so we actually can tell that we're actually going to see what's going to happen. But then we actually seen a note saying that the head mountain bandit were here, signed Sutemaru, which that actually means that. Sutin Maru probably has the blueprints. <clears throat> Meanwhile, we actually seen the ruins of Kibi, which we seen Zoro is actually walking with this man named tu I mean, Tuno Yasu, which he actually goes by Yasu, who actually pays food, and then he actually help him walking with him. In which he actually knew that he actually <clears throat> tried to help him out 
which he actually knew that he's tried to gamble away his swords by the gamblers who actually come at them, and which he actually saved him from them as he makes his way back to the flower capital. But then we actually go to Orochi Castle, where we actually see Orochi getting ready to meet with CB0 about the fight with the pirates, which he wants to buy weapons from them, which that's actually a weird thing to do, since he actually is t meeting with CP0. So he actually knows that he actually going to have them demands, which his Wano is self servient in which he actually told them to look around, in which the people are actually quite happy, but there isn't. In fact, he actually say that he so, there's something that they actually desire is that is more power, in which they actually went with la with warships last time. But this time, he actually wanted Dr. Vegapunk. So he actually made that demand so serious that the CB0 won't actually allow it. Then he actually shoot one of them, which means that he actually transformed to a monster again, which he actually say that the Celestial Dragons and the Marines know this, but they actually don't fear them. In which he actually knew that he actually won't allow them to trouble the, I mean, destroy the country because he actually had Kaido himself at his, actually back him up. But then he actually getting ready to meet with Kumo, I mean, Saki as the banquet actually have have actually started as we actually seen his first debut in the manga series which we actually seen it as the banquet actually begins meanwhile we actually <clears throat> saw outside of the castle where we saw Law and Sanji actually saw someone get someone actually approaches as we knew that that someone is actually would be X Strike and Hawkins actually came which means that Hawkins actually knew that the straw is here which X Strike actually came with with a guy named Page One and he actually ate a devil fruit, the dragon dragon fruit, agent type Spinosaurus, which is actually a dinosaur, since Drag actually ate the, the dragon dragon fruit uh, Allosaurus, which is actually something that we never thought about him actually eating it. Because they're actually saying that Hawkins was to make sure they will carry out their missions. So we actually gonna see what's gonna happen in the next chapter very soon. So we actually saw Orochi for the first time. So we actually can know that we actually saw him. But then we actually seen him making a demand of wanting Dr. Vegapunk. So we actually know that that's a very high demand that he actually wants. And then we actually saw X Drake Devil Fruit ability revealed. So we actually can know that we're actually getting ready to see a huge fight. So anyway, like this video, <clears throat> subscribe for more, and comment what you think about the manga chapter you guys can also follow me on twitter instagram tumblr and like my facebook page until then this is amy guys here saying sign out laters